Well, for the second straight week, the Idaho Steelheads kick off a 3-3 three three weekend, and for the first ever time, we're coming to you from Savannah, Georgia, as the Steelheads get ready to take on the Savannah Ghost Pirates at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Cam McGuire here alongside head coach Everett Sheen. Well, Sheener, we talked last week, new building, new opponent you've never seen before, and we're going to go right back into it this weekend. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice coming all the way out here, seeing a different team. Um, you know, they're, they're a very good team as well, so it'll be a good test for us. Before we get into the matchup this weekend, let's look back to last week's series against Tahoe. Obviously not the results that you guys wanted, dropping two of three games, but I'm sure there's still some positives you can take away from the weekend. Yeah, I mean, our guys didn't quit. Um, we battled a lot of adversity that weekend, um, but, you know, ultimately we do want to win more than one of the three games, but I thought we had a chance in, uh, you know, especially in the third game there, uh, late, you know, we lost on two power play goals against and a shorthanded goal, which is uncharacteristic for our group. So five on five, I thought we carried the play. We just uh, we didn't get the special teams opportunities that, that they did, and they made good on it. Heading into this series, too, you talk about giving up two power play goals last week. Discipline's going to be a huge factor in this three-game series. This is a Savannah team that has shown they can score on the power play. So how do you guys maintain that discipline, not only here today, but throughout the weekend? Big emphasis is no stick penalties, right? You don't want to be taking hooks and slashes and you know stuff like that high sticks if you're going to take penalty it's got to be you know the hard penalties the um, you know the roughs or the charges and the ref thinks it was a big hit but we'll, we'll kill those all day um, you know we just want to be big heavy and fast and rely on our body rather than our sticks talk about the grind kind of these last two weeks have kind of meshed together they've kind of blended together it seems like you know club went home on sunday we're home monday uh, Tuesday, I'm losing track of my days, and then flew here on Wednesday. So how do you kind of balance that, you know, getting the guys rest, but also working on the things that you guys need to accomplish? Well, just kind of like I said, we took the day off Monday because we got in later Sunday. Um, you know, had a okay practice on Tuesday, two days off, and then flew all day Wednesday. Had a pretty good skate yesterday, you know, uh, not necessarily touching on five-on-five on five stuff, but just getting moving, touching the pucks, um, you know. But I liked our practice yesterday and our morning skate today, so... Our right, guys should be ready to go. Let's look at the goaltending position. Ben Cross uh, joining the club in Savannah from Texas. Last week we saw Tomer go for two games. He was awesome in both those games, and obviously Scholey was great on, on Friday. But, you know, we've talked about it going back to that depth. We'll see Crosby go here today. And, you know, having that capability at any time to put either one of those guys in has to be a nice feeling. Oh, very nice feeling, especially in these three and threes. Um, you don't want to just ride one goalie for three games in two and a half days. So, uh, you know, to have full confidence in both your, both your guys is, is huge. Like you said, Tomer played, you know, tremendous last week. Uh, you know, even though he did get the two losses, he kept us in the games, made some huge saves. Um, so, yeah, we're looking forward to having both those guys go this weekend. Lastly, we talked about Savannah in terms of special teams. They're top of the league almost in, in penalty kill and power play. Let's get the Sheener scouting report on the Savannah Ghost Pirates. No, they're very talented. Um, you know, they have a lot of American League and NHL contracts. You know, they're, they're dangerous off the rush. They're you know, very good offensively. So we have, we have to make sure we're looking after the D side of the, the puck and, and being, you know, structured and disciplined like we talked about and, and limiting their chances uh, for and, you know, capitalizing when we get our chances. I guess lastly here, you talk about this surplus of contracts they have. As we speak this morning, not necessarily knowing which goaltender will go. They've got three uh, really high caliber goalies all under AHL contracts with Charlotte. Seemed like last weekend, Jesper Vickman, who played two of those games, uh, we talked maybe didn't make his life too hard in that first game. In terms of the goaltending position opposition-wise, how do you make either whoever goes tonight for Savannah, how do you make sure their job's hard tonight? Well, we got to make sure we have net front presence first and foremost. Um, you know, traffic and volume shooting, really uh, trying to create second, third, fourth opportunities, uh, cause some chaos in that front. The biggest thing is making sure, like I said, we have net presence taking his eyes, not allowing them to, to see clean pucks and, you know, just making their life tough. There you have it. The Ghost Pirates and the Steelheads drop the puck at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. As always, you can listen on KTIK The Ticket, and you can watch on Flow Hockey TV. Sheena, as always, appreciate the time this morning, and best of luck tonight. Thanks for having me, Kim.